lot of you dudes who are new probably don't know that I have an interest in the Tales series. I only played a couple of titles, Tales of Symphonia 1 and 2, but those were really great and I, I really enjoyed particularly 1 on the GameCube. Those are really gold times from back when I was, um, like what? 14, 15 years old. Really good times, man. So um, Bandai Namco is actually announcing a brand new Tales game, Tales of Berseria. Uh, I'm hoping I get that name right. And it has a lone female protagonist. And this is kind of turning me on a little bit. I mean, not just because of the lone female protagonist, but this kind of takes like a little bit of a format of a really strong, dominant female character. And I actually like titles like that, like Final Fantasy 13, which a lot of people have mixed reviews on. I enjoy that title thoroughly. I mean, I didn't really play Lightning Returns too much, but 13 and 13-2 were really great titles in my book. Some of you may say that's because I don't really understand the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole, but that I don't really need to understand the series as a whole in order to enjoy a game, and I enjoyed 13 thoroughly. Anyway, so um, let's look at exactly what some more details are of this first time reaction, as you guys know I usually do, and I'm loving the concept so far. I got so enthralled with the title of this article from Kotaku. Once again, a disclaimer, I know a lot of people don't like Kotaku, but they do have articles every now and then which catch my interest that maybe some other places don't report on, and this one definitely did. So let's take a look at a little bit more of the details that this comes with because it's a really cool concept in my book, something that I know a lot of people may not agree with as well, but I love the idea of it. So main entries in the Tales series, and it's Tales, I mean come on man, Tales is actually one of my preferred RPG styles because it's actually inducive of action. So it's not just you choose a move and you wait for it to be executed, rather it's actually you moving around, pressing the button and an attack comes out, linking up combos, defending when you need to, evasive maneuvers, all that shit is what's involved in the Tales series, and it's a staple which I feel makes the franchise one hell of a juggernaut when it comes to the RPG style, um, RPG style, you know what I mean? Main entries in the Tales series of role-playing games have traditionally featured male and female leads backed up by the supporting cast. Announced today for PlayStations 3 and 4? Come on, man, you really gotta bring it back to the 3? I don't know, I mean, I, I know a lot of people still only have a 3, and I can understand that. The 3's, um, the 3's title list is massive, and there's a lot of great things for that, but I really hope they don't throttle the 4. I mean, um, I, hope, I really hope they don't throttle the overall game to make it more you know, applicable to the 3. Although the 4 is a hardware, it's not exactly you know shining light. Anyways, um, Tales of Berseria has one Berseria. I want to make sure I get this name right because a lot of you guys laugh at me when I get these names off. Tales of Berseria has one hero and you're looking at her. Her name is Velvet, which is exactly the sort of name you give a character you want to set her up as a badass. According to the fine folks over at the Anime News Network, Velvet is the star of the Berseria show. Portrayed as by dominant voice actress Rina Sato, who was on the hand for the Tales of Festival 2015 announcement. Okay, so um, Rina Sato, I, I've heard her name before, definitely. You guys in the comments would probably be able to let me know what some of her biggest works were, but um, I definitely heard of her. And one thing I hope about this character, Velvet, is that even though she's hardcore, she's a badass, she's meant to wreck house, and I really like strong supporting characters like that. I mean, for God's sakes, my goddamn desktop background is Kamui from Fire Emblem If, the main character badass character. I love characters who are female, but yet at the same time dominant. They have a lot of strength in them. Really, really powerful characters that, you know, don't just get written off as, you know, some some female extra and that's it. Um, but I, at the same time, I really hope she's not so hardcore and rigid and rough to the point where she loses some of that femininity. You know what I mean? Like Lightning from um, Final Fantasy, I like her as a character a lot, but I feel like she was so goddamn rigid that she almost lacked a lot of those feminine those feminine traits, which, you know, you don't have to, like, like it, it's not like you have to throw your femininity to the wind in order to be considered a badass character. There's plenty of badasses out there who also have those feminine traits. I mean, then Lightning, she, she had feminine traits, but I mean, not as much, she wasn't, like, I don't know, she had a reasoning though, that was just, you know, I'm not criticizing her character at all because I like the character overall, but I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, Velvet will have her times where she's a bit more, you know, warm. You know, I, I like warmth, in a, and I, I like badassery, but a little bit of warmth in there, and oh my god, you have me hooked, you have me hooked. Anyways, let's continue reading. Um, details on the game's story and supporting cast are forthcoming, so we don't know anything, basically. But we've got character designs by Mutsumi Ino, Inomara, Mutsumi Inomara, and Unfoldable, and I'm handling cutscenes, so everything should be just lovely. So, not too many details known. Some speculate that the sudden shift from the classic male-female structure to a lone female hero is due to tales of Zestiria uproar from earlier this year when, spoilers, fans became upset over a major female character being swapped out with another in mid-game. Supporting character story and more will be revealed in the coming months, so all we basically know 
is this is going to be the main character and that's it. I guess it was shown off as a presentation, so not too many details. Um, but so far from what I'm seeing, I like it. It's badass and I'm hoping that we get more details soon because I really can't give a thorough you know, breakdown of what I think about this until more details are in, um, are in our possession. Um, let's see what some comments are saying. Is the Tail series sequential or unlinked? Unlinked, because I've been meaning to get into these games but I never had the chance to. Unrelated, yeah, yeah, someone answered it. Um, whatever you do, avoid the Zillia games. It's funny because I actually have Zillia in the closet. I started playing it a little bit and it didn't hold on to me too much, you know? So I mean, I kind of put it down. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I have to see where I'm standing from. Zillia is a good entry point. It wasn't as good as Grace's, but it was good. Thank you for covering this, by the way. Also, man, that character design looks amazing. That's what I'm saying. Looking forward to Zestereo, of course, but damn, I really want this game. I'm kind of pissed, though, that it's also on PS3. Like I'm saying, I hope it doesn't throttle PS4 version, or the most, I hope it doesn't throttle the game in general, because, oh, we gotta tone that down, because we gotta make it applicable for the PS3, too. Um, but you can't take risks with the Tales title, I suppose. Side note, does this mean she's a singer? If so, does this mean, oh god, to be true, it's Tales games with multiple themes? As we all know, Tales themes are kind of amazing. You're goddamn right there. For those of you who don't know, the Tales of fan base isn't only weird in otaku in Japan, um, at least it's a majority female audience. It definitely is. Um, yeah, man, some of these comments, some of these comments, I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's read through a couple more. Um, let me see. It's hard to... Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. I, I prefer reading your guys' comments anyway. It's a lot more easier to go through because I don't know what's a response and what's, you know, the actual main comment. They're all basically in line here. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.